Last week, it was announced that Meta is buying LuxXL, a Dutch company that makes optical lenses. But why is the social media and metaverse giant getting into the eyeglass business? Slant 3D is a mass production 3D printing company. We build giant 3D printer farms, but we also do this YouTube channel in order to promote real 3D printed products that are being used in the real world and how the industry is making 3D printing viable for mass production. So if that's a topic that you're interested in, go ahead and give us a subscribe. So let's look at LuxXL. It was founded in 2009 with the intentional goal of figuring out a way to use 3D printing to make custom eyeglass lenses. Receiving several patents in its early years, it became the first company to actually produce prescription lenses with 3D printing in 2017. Their technology appears to be some form of inkjet printing, where small micro droplets of resin are deposited layer by layer in order to create very fine details. With this type of process, you're able to create super fine and high resolution parts. But even so, from their videos, it's pretty clear that there's still some texturing and layering present, which is common with most mass production 3D printing processes. So the lenses would still need some amount of post-processing or polishing in order to get them up to the level where they can actually be used in a set of eyeglasses. Since LuxXL successfully started creating those prescription lenses, they've continued to expand the technology and have figured out ways to embed all sorts of smart glass technology into the printed lenses themselves, which is actually kind of a big deal. Since making the prescription lenses, LuxXL has moved on to trying to integrate higher technologies into the lenses that they're 3D printing. These include things like waveguides and holographic films, which are the kind of basis of most transparent displays. And they've been successful. Last week, Meta decided to buy them. There's not a valuation given, but from the information out there, from like Crunchbase, which of course can't be trusted because it's incomplete, but LuxXL has appeared to raise about $22.8 million so far, all the way through through their Series C, which if Meta was buying them based off that valuation, they would have been purchased at somewhere between $100 and $300 million. There's a lot of factors going into that, so there's no way to know for sure, and there's no way that that range might even be correct. There could be all kinds of problems that could make them much cheaper, or Meta could just be spending a lot of that $10 billion budget they have each year to expand their metaverse tech. So there's no way to know what it's really worth, but $200 million is probably in the right realm. But why does Meta even want them? Well, according to LuxXL's own website, 60% of the human population needs corrected lenses. Something like this, which I generally wear. And that is a huge number, which is a big problem for Meta because not very many of us are putting our glasses on underneath an Oculus headset, which means that headset might be almost unusable to us, especially if you have one eye that's slightly different from another or anything else to where the symmetry is off and the experience is completely ruined. That is one point. So Meta could use them to create lenses for their VR headsets and produce them custom for each customer as a customer buys a headset. But of course, there is also the technical aspect. The fact that LuxXL is able to integrate the smart glass technologies into the lenses themselves, which historically hasn't ever really been possible, you generally have to create the lens and then you layer other types of tech on top of them in order to get the display. But LuxXL is able to control the lenses so completely that they're able to make a lens that is much more condensed and has properties that could allow a VR headset to be much more efficient and much clearer and higher resolution without adding more weight or thickness, which is something that Meta has been trying to get away from. They're trying to make their headsets much more portable and these 3D printed lenses would enable that. And this is a fantastic example of how to use 3D printing. 3D printing is kind of a technology between using screws to put multiple parts together and using chemistry to literally control the atomic structure of a material. In between is 3D printing, where you're able to control very fine components of a material or of a part without actually having to carve at it, but actually growing it. And that way you can get properties from the part that would not be possible with either chemistry or general assembly. This is a huge capability of additive manufacturing in general across industries because you're able to create products and parts that were never possible before and therefore create a very highly optimized solution. This is the same thing that aerospace does with 3D printing. And in addition to it, it's just a great demonstration of the ability of 3D printing to mass produce parts. 
With 60% of the human population needing corrective lenses, the fact that LuxXL is a viable solution for Meta to produce custom lenses for their VR headsets is just indicative of 3D printing's ability to be a mass market manufacturing solution. So I wish LuxXL the best, and I encourage Meta to continue putting those billions of dollars into 3D printing tech because they are demonstrating that it is able to be a mass market solution, which very few companies are really doing now, even though the technology is more than ready to be a mass production solution. Comment down below if there's something about the LuxXL acquisition that we didn't really cover, or if there's other companies or topics around mass production 3D printing that you'd like us to take a look at. And of course, always give us a like and subscribe if you can. Have a great day, everybody.